Good afternoon, good evening, beautiful spirits from America and the UK, both hemispheres, hemispheres of the pond. Yeah, this is a pure pugilist segment, aka Boxing Logic. Urban legends, boxing urban legends, and Let's go over the amazing story of Buck Smith. Buck, Tombstone Smith. Tombstone being his alias. This miraculous story of a journeyman in the history of boxing that's really been told. But I'm going to tell you here. Buck Smith. Elias Tombstone, born 1965, July 22nd, hometown Oklahoma City, USA, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, USA, stance orthodox, height 5'9", 175 centimeters from a people in a metric system, reach 68, 160. 173 centimeters for people on the metric system. Smith, Buck Smith, has more wins than any fighter since Archie Moore and Willie Pep, retired in 1960s. Has more wins than any fighter since Archie Moore and Willie Pep, retired in the 1960s. Okay? However, Smith did not win in his last 15 fights over a 10 year period. These bouts included knockouts by Antonio Margarito and Julio Cesar Chavez. Julio Cesar Chavez. He also has a fight with James Buddy McGirt. Those are the three notable fights in his career. Buck Smith is an American professional boxer in the cruiserweight division, although he started in the middleweights. Although Smith has never been considered more than a journeyman fighter, he is one of boxing's all-time knockout kings with 120. 120 knockouts. <sighs> Amazing. Total fights, 227. Total fights, 227. Wins, 180. Wins by KO, 120. Losses, 20. Draws, 2. And 25, no contest. Amazing. This is crazy. Check this out. Smith turned professional in 1987 without having ever boxed before. He lost his very first pro fight when he volunteered from an Oklahoma City audience for a no-show, he fought someone named Ali Smith and received $50 for his troubles. He had 15 minutes to prepare and completed in street shorts and basketball shoes. <laughs> Despite losing, Buck Smith managed to last the distance and from then on was obsessed with becoming a fighter. After the loss, Smith embarked on a long winning streak, fighting just about every week, albeit against very ordinary opposition in small club venues. When questioned on the level of competition he was facing, Smith calmly responded, I'm not fighting one bum a month, I'm fighting three or four. <laughs> Let me repeat, Smith calmly responded, I'm not fighting one bum a month. I'm fighting three or four. All in all, Smith is officially created, credited with having boxed 224 professional boxing matches. Of these, he won 179. 120 of them by knockout. He lost 19. It was neatly upgraded. And boxed two draws. However, it is possible that Smith had fought even more matches under different names. 
So it is so it is impossible to truly say how many fights he really had. Despite his long record, Buck Smith never won any major boxing titles. But while most of wins, most of his wins, they mistyped. But while most of his wins, I'm sorry, but but while most of his wins came against unknown opposition, he did manage a few good results. This included a seventh round KO over contender and European champion Kirtland Lang. Have y'all heard that name? Kirtland Lang, who once beat the legendary Roberto Duran. Wow. And a second round knockout over 1988 Olympic gold medalist Robert Wangila. Wow. The win over Wangila got him featured in Ring Magazine the most prominent of all boxing publications. At the time, Smith reported an official record of 96 wins, two loss, one, two draws, two loss, one draw, with 70 wins by KO, and was ranked 13th at the welterweight by the WBC. He also lost to several former and future champions that included Buddy McGirt, Mark Brayland, <clears throat> Excuse me, Julio Cesar Chavez and Antonio Margarita. So he fought at welterweight too. In box rec, it said he was a middleweight, so he moved up and down in weight just to fight. Talking about a warrior, damn. It is also notable that Buck Smith once fought twice in one day. On May 19, 1992, he fought Marco Davis in Kansas City and won by KO in two rounds. Less than three hours later, he was back in Oklahoma City and won a six-round decision over Rodney Johnson. A similar Iron Man stint by Buck Smith occurred in the month of March in 1993 when Buck Smith fought a total of 12 professional boxing matches. Let me repeat, a similar Iron Man stint by Buck Smith occurred in the, mar in the month of March in 1993 when Buck Smith fought a total of 12 professional boxing matches in one month. He won all 12. He won all 12. Nine of them by knockout. Damn. This motherfucker was a lotion. He had to be on PCP. This motherfucker was on Angel Dust. Fuck the bullshit. Buck Smith last fought June 30th, 2007. Fighting far above his best weight. He lost to Marcus Oliveira by second round KO in a cruiserweight contest. So he went from middleweight, welterweight, back up to cruiserweight. Or middleweight, welterweight, then up to cruiserweight. Then, God damn, motherfucker's crazy. My, Marcus Oliveira by second round KO in a cruiserweight contest. His last win came in a bout with Manuel Esparza, against whom he won by a four round decision in December 1997. That means he has, that means he has not won a single fight in the last ten years. His record stands at 19. His record stands at 179 wins, 179 wins, 20 losses, two draws, and 25 no contests in 226 fights. Fight fixing allegations. Wikipedia. Smith is perhaps best known for his role in the government's attempt. Smith is perhaps best known for his role in the government's attempted crackdown on fight fixing in 2004 and 2005. Smith, along with colleagues Verdell Smith and Sean Gibbons, were called upon to give testimony. The crew were nicknamed the Knucklehead Boxing Club. <laughs> the Knucklehead Boxing Club and traveled throughout the Midwest making frequent appearances on fight cards. 
Wow. And they got many other different references here. Angel Robertson, Garcia, Peter Buckley, and so on. That is the story of Buck Tombstone Smith. He was on Angel Dust. Or wherever that, wherever else, I don't, could you fight on LCDs back then? Whatever it is, he was taking it. I don't know, how the hell? 12 fights in one month? And he won all 12. Nine by knockout. Again, total fights, 226. Although on box rec it says, here it says 179 wins. On box rec it says 180. So somewhere it's missed. But 120 knockouts, 20 losses, 2 draws, 25 no contests. And there is your urban legend of boxing. The story of Buck Tombstone Smith. I hope you enjoy this segment of Pure Pugilism. Boxer Logic, Beautiful Spirits. And again, I appreciate you all for all new subscribers. And I appreciate that first 500 that's been riding hard with me the whole time. And the next 500 that brought me to the 1,000, which is you guys. And the last 100 that I got over the last day. Man, I am truly, truly grateful to the universe. One love to you all, man. This is Marvin Magnus. Peace.